What's good, y'all? It's your boy Mino. I'm back again with another video, and of course, I got the scissors on deck. I got the box on deck as well. As y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? Got the box on deck. So, why don't we get right to it with this box and we go from there? Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to like this video. Also, comment what you think about this video as well, too. And don't forget to subscribe when you're done because we're growing. I need all the support I can get from everybody to make sure that we are doing a good job with the videos, you know what I'm saying? So, why don't we get right to into this box right here? All right. Oh, okay. Another red Jordan box. Wait, why is this 12 and a half? The hell? Hold up. This is pretty weird. As y'all can see, we got a red Jordan. Jordan 1 box. It, it's a women's shoe, I would say. Yeah, women's Jordan 1. And I don't know why it says 12 and a half, but let me look inside the box real quick. I hope it's not 12 and a half for the shoe, because I'll be tripping. Okay. 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 Yo. <laughs> Yo, this is nuts. Like, bruh. Oh, I'm looking at the insole right now. It's a size 12. But anyways, <laughs> excuse me for the um, pant, for the reaction. Yeah, yeah. Here we got a Air Jordan 12 woman's tie-dye one. Like... I'm like my mind's blown right now like me having this pair come to think of it I think it was like denim until they bleached it and then just turned it like to this hippie color but yeah this shoe man it smells good it looks amazing I like the color around it too it's like they just slap paint on there or just let the shoe bleach by itself I don't know I think they slap paint because you can tell by the little drips of paint all over the place but this shoe is like absolutely amazing. The bottom sole looks great. Of course, it's black. The midsole looks great as well. Top sole looks dumb, stupidly boot, like dumb, stupid beautiful. And the Jordan wing on the side, it looks okay as well too. So yeah, it's just, it's, it's dope, man. Like it looks really, really dope. And of course they got that hourglass shape on the back. So of course that signature jump man shoe. But overall, this is more like a liberal shoe, if you ask me. A lot more expression and excitement with this shoe as well. It looks pretty good. It looks really good. It looks really good. Like, even the Nike check has that little cut right there. It looks like there's another cut at the bottom, but it's all good though, so it doesn't matter, to be honest. But other than that, it's it's really good it looks pretty good to me it looks pretty good let me pull up the other pair as well and also thank you to this plug right here for sending me the shoe of course gave me a small little letter i don't know why they do that but yeah it comes with laces you know just in case you want to feel a little bit free a little fresh a little bit drippy you know what i'm saying drip god but yeah this pair looks absolutely beautiful like shout out to the shout out to the plug for gifting me this pair of course like I, I thank them for sending me this pair. Like, look at this pair, y'all. Look at this pair. Like, I'm playing peekaboo with it. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Not a shoe's a shoe. We don't care about it. Tumble leather looks great. The design of the shoe around it looks beautiful. Kind of like, if you take out the color, I feel like it's another Royal Jordan, another Royal Blue Jordan 1, if you ask me. But other than that, this pair looks great. Uh, the back piece of the shoe, I don't know if y'all can notice that, but kind of looks off, but we don't care about it. You know what I'm saying? Shoe's a shoe, doesn't matter. And I don't see nothing wrong with this. Even the insole as well, the insole, the material, it has that fabric fabric material around it. It feels really comfortable. Even if you rub it a lot, it looks comfortable. The back of the tumble leather looks amazing as well too. So yeah, the shoe looks pretty dope. But to rate these shoes, I'll give this a nine out of 10. A 9 out of 10, not because, oh, it's a women's shoe, but a 9 out of 10 because people already talked about these pairs. They already flipped them. They already sold them to the next person that wants them with, you know, bigger feet or dirty feet. Doesn't matter. I'm not saying you guys because you guys, of course, and some of you guys will clean them eventually. But, you know what I'm saying? It's nothing, pers it's nothing personal to y'all. I'm not trying to come at nobody, but yeah. What y'all think of these shoes? Would y'all cop a pair for sure? Because 
Shit, I will. The hell? Look at this. Look how it lights up in front of the light, bro. Look at it. Like, who wouldn't want a pair like this? Come on. It's a woman's one. Like, this is my first pair of a woman's Air Jordan 1, to be honest with you. Actually, nah. Eh, it's whatever. But yeah, man. This pair is absolutely amazing for sure. Dumb amazing. But yeah, how y'all feel about these? Would y'all rock them? Would y'all cop them? Because you can cop them on StockX and GOAT. And I'll make sure to add the link for StockX and GOAT down below. But until then, let me know how y'all feel about these. But now, why don't we get to this on foot review and go from there? Also, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with friends and family. You know what I mean? But let's get to this on for review and let's go.